Hi, I'm going to use the Windy website to give you a tour of cyclones, and we're going to look both in the northern and southern hemisphere to see what they look like. Now, this website, Windy, is great because it has lots of different ways of looking at weather data. Um, and right now, we're looking at the wind field. Um, and it's very easy to, to see what's going on. You can see that the winds here are moving you know, to the north or to the northeast. Um, here, they're moving a bit to the south and to the south here off the coast of California. Um, and the colors here at the bottom are telling you how strong the winds are. And you can change that if you want to look at different units, um, kilometers per hour or knots. Um, so it's a very nice and easy uh, website to use and to explore. So let's look around for some cyclones. Um, we'll go here to the, um, to the west. And here is a large cyclone. We call these um, uh, mid-latitude cyclones. Um, and you can see the winds moving around in a circle, circle and that's very common. If we just click here, we can get a, uh, like a, a little um, weather um, instrument um, that measures the wind in this case. And we can see the winds and the wind speed here um, being about you know, 49 meters or 49 miles per hour. So those are, those are pretty fast winds, but if we move it to some other location, we can see the winds um, change in their speed um, right at the center. It actually is quite weak, but just very close to the east here, we get very strong winds. So let's look for some other cyclones. Oh, here's one. This one is much smaller, but to me, this actually looks like a hurricane, uh, a small hurricane but um, it's giving us some, um, some pretty strong winds as well. And, uh, and those winds um, we can measure and just look, you know, move this around here and see the speed of the winds change all the way up to almost 40 miles per hour. That's a pretty strong cyclone. And again, kind of notice the patterns of the circulation. Now let's go into the Southern hemisphere. So we're um, here, here's, the equator around Ecuador. Um, we go into South America. Don't see anything yet. Oh, but down here off the coast of, of Argentina, here is another cyclone. So again, you know, the colors here are showing you the wind speed. Um, and again, there's circular motion around, you know, going around what is um, a low pressure system. And if we move our, our little um, weather instrument around, we can see that those winds are, you know, again, you know, over 40 miles per hour. So pretty strong. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that there, these cyclones are all over the place. And this is a great website to explore winds all around the world. Um, and then to start to notice the characteristics or the patterns associated with these winds both in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern Hemisphere. 